Welcome everyone who chose group number one for the should I stay or go in my job. So before we jump over to the cards and some housekeeping notes, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the space in which this video is being recorded. And after that, we'll get straight to it. In the spirit of respect, reciprocity, and truth, we honor and acknowledge that together we live, work, and play on this land of the people of traditional Treaty 7 territory. The Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika Kanai Pikani. The Tsutina Nations, Iarhe Nakoda, and Region 3 Métis Nation of Alberta. So, hello everyone. You've chosen the Emperor card. Bill, I'm probably not saying that right. And already we have frozen. We're off to a great start. Okay, I was trying to show you the card. Uh, it says it controls weather, rain, and lightning, cures and causes pestilence. So we'll put this over here as your indicator card for the group. And let's begin with some housekeeping notes. So, first off, I consider myself to be an R-rated reader. That means sexual material could come up, graphic material could come up, and it's very likely that I will swear. I love my curse words, okay? So if any of those are offensive to your sensibilities, then this is your ahead warning to choose a different video. Next, also, wow, as you know, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for every single person that watches, so take it with a grain of salt, especially when you're making decisions about your career, okay? Um, if things resonate, the messages are for you. If they don't, leave them behind. Always consider supporting your local service providers, or tarot readers, astrologers, etc. Getting one-on-one -on -one consultations is the best way to get this type of clarity for yourself. But with that being said, let's check it out. So we're going to do three pathways here, okay? Staying, going, and if there is an unknown alternative, all right? So let's check it out. Okay, so this tells me that the deck is ready <laughs> to go into it. So I like to pull, well no, I'll actually leave that and just flip the deck over, the bottom of the deck. But this card down here, uh, it'll be hard to make all the space, represents you. This is staying, the pros of staying, the pros of an alternative, the pros of going. Challenges, challenges, challenges. Pathway, pathway, pathway. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands reversed. So I like to do this to get some follow cards as extra messages. Oops. Because I feel like that tells me when the deck is ready, okay? And then I pull things from there in this particular style. So the Emperor Group 1 is your designation card, which talks about possibly doing new um, entrepreneurial business. It could talk about setting foundations. So it could be building upon um, stuff that you're already working on. It could be um, taking something new and building it from there. It could be staying in the same place. That doesn't give much information in that way. Um, about staying or going. It just talks about wanting to be feeling powerful in your work overall. Now, 
um, checking in as to why this particular reading, it seems like you're having a time of low self-confidence when it comes to the job that you're currently in, and that's why you're looking into this. Um, with the fallout cards, it kind of enhances that message. With the Six of Wands saying that there's a big desire for success and being recognized by your co-workers, colleagues, peers, etc. Um, as being successful, and yet you're not feeling this way. You're feeling um, caught up and sad and depressed, possibly even. So perhaps uh, a lack of self-confidence is making you see yourself as not being successful or that others may not see you successful perhaps you got some like um, criticism or review that's making you feel this way we'll find out more I'll put these over here for now you overall are looking for a new opportunity that's going to emotionally fulfill you okay that's what I'm getting here with the th with the Knight of Cups so this Knight of Cups um, very much is about opportunities, messages, and it's about wanting to feel happy, okay? Feel good. So let's look into each line here. I'll save the middle one for the end. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk first about staying, shall we? The benefit about staying in the job that you currently are in is the Eight of Wands reversed and eh, focusing, amazing. Let's see if that works. Focus, focus. The Eight of Wands reversed here talks about um, at least kind of knowing what you're in for, knowing and um, like having clarity of thought around this position, like you know the ins and outs of it, you know the dynamics, you know the tasks, you know the roles and responsibilities, and that's beneficial to you. The challenge is the Seven of Cups Reverse, which I find really interesting because the Seven of Cups Reverse talks about like no longer feeling overwhelmed, um, so on one hand, perhaps your, your spark, your interest in life is, uh, or within your career, I should specifically say, may feel a bit lackluster because you're like, oh, I can't really, maybe you can't really ascend or change in the job. Maybe it's stale. Like maybe you can't, um, move upwards. Maybe you can't get promotions. Maybe it's like, this is it. This is the position for eternity. Yeah, that would suck that it feels like suck but we're gonna pull clarifier cards for this uh, so don't worry um, the pathway card which kind of talks about what would it be like going forward if you continued to stay here and we have the three of Pentacles reversed now that kind of talks about maybe you don't like the people that you're working with sorry I'm trying to like make sure we don't get light glare light um, the people that you're working with, maybe you don't get along with them. Maybe your colleagues fucking are the shit. You know, maybe they um, are the ones who are giving like nasty feedback or they're not very supportive or uh, yeah, just that kind of dynamic where you don't want to be working with these people and you don't possibly want to be working on the projects that you're there to do, whatever type of job this may be. So then if you stay, let's check if you were to go. The benefit, the challenge, and the pathway going forward. So if you were to have a different job in mind, taking a different job, um, the benefit of it is that it's not the right time. Now that seems weird. It's like it has the possibility of being good for you. It just needs to come in the right time. You can't force it, basically. Um, so opportunities would need to show up for you in divine order, basically. Um, 
So maybe you haven't put stuff out or you've put stuff out and you've been getting lots of rejections or not even getting interviews, for example, but that's because it's not the right time and those opportunities are not meant for you. However, the challenge is, is that going to a new job, you may still continue to feel unsuccessful. Like, I don't want to celebrate this. Maybe you get there and that feeling continues to come with you. And I mean, feeling by this like depression, like I just wish I was successful, but I don't feel like it kind of thing. This low self-confidence follows you, right? It follows you there and you don't feel like you're setting up something worthwhile to the next place that you go to. And then the path outcome is the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So let's just say that something came up and um, you decided to push for it, you took it, you get there and you're like, oh, I did all this moving and this sucks too and I still don't feel any better. And now I have all these other issues and worries such as like having to move all my shit, having to like pay first and last month's rent for a new place or selling my house or whatever it is that your material context is and maybe you're just like kind of fatigued <laughs> with with having to do all this and you're not um, having enough energy to really want to invest in the labor of the new position. So let's see if there's something unknown that we need to be aware of. We have the Seven of Wands reversed, the Six of Cups, and the King of Cups reversed. Okay, we're definitely going to need some clarifiers here, but I think what I can say at this point, the issue is more of an internal thing in yourself um, that is radiating out into all the pathways. So one of the benefits here, well, it's not really a benefit when the Seven of Wands is reversed. I mean, this is saying that you're not standing your ground and you don't have something that you're willing to fight for. So perhaps that is beneficial because that gives you a lot of opportunity with all those wands to be able to come in and be like, hey, there, I could do this, I could do that, there's lots of different things, I could totally change it up. You're not like married to something here. Um, with the Six of Cups, when it comes to career, it's like there's a longing for days of yore. So is there a career position that you had before that you were very into as like, the actual job subject content or is it more about I'm just missing youth I'm missing summer vacations I'm missing not having as many responsibilities when I was younger etc um, yeah there's something about longing for the good old days and the good old days could be about a job but it could also be about just youth which tends to be like I didn't have to have all these responsibilities but King of Cups reversed. This is really why I think this is an internal issue that could follow you anywhere because again this is like that emotional baggage still not being fulfilled even though you have all these plethora of opportunities and because probably that you're hanging on to stuff of the past that creates negative emotional um, trying to put this in front of the camera and I'm getting distracted. Um, when you lament and when you miss something, there can be qualities of it that are good, but when you hold on to it too strongly, then it becomes emotional baggage where you're like, oh, I'm so sad. And that radiates into all of your pathways. So in general, I would say that um, there is some self-confidence issues that need to be looked at. Um, depression surrounding your self-confidence and your desire to be seen as successful in life, both by your own perspective as well as your peers, family, friends, colleagues, etc. And there's certainly something that you're holding on to from the past that you believe is more 
fulfilling or that used to make you happy and you're so focused on what used to make me happy that the now is suffering but let's pull some more cards shall we you know it's not me so let's get i kind of want to get advice for here 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 and then we'll see from there okay let's find out more about the queen of wands we have the seven of fire so again this is where to go right here this is this card, except in the upright, right? So the Seven of Wands is about being able to hold your ground, being able to know what you want to fight for, what you want to put out there in direction. It's Aries, it's actionable, not Aries, sorry, it's Mars. It's Mars, it's willing to fight for something, it's willing to stand up, it's willing to, you know, take up the arms, shall we say. And Leo, it's willing to um, be fixed and determined and, and go for it for the long haul. So again, I think when we look at this middle area here, on one hand it says, yeah, it's a benefit that you don't have anything that you're standing up for or that you really want to pursue or that you're super passionate about because that leaves you lots of opportunities open to be able to go somewhere to find that passion. But also, if this is clarifying your Queen of Wands reversed, it's like there's self-confidence issues around what do I want to do? Do you like maybe that's it is that you're not fulfilled in anything because you don't actually know if that's what you like or not. And you're just sort of there having to work. Um, Let's find out about the six of, sorry, six of wands and the five of cups, please. Okay. Two of wands and for the five of cups. Ace of pentacles reversed. Okay. So when we talk about the six of pentacles, talking the six of wands with the two of wands we have this notion of like I just know that I want to feel success like I want to feel like a success okay so that is the larger picture intention here it's not what you're feeling with the five of cups um, and the ace of pentacles is like you know, I don't feel like the right opportunity has come for me in the material world, work-wise, career-wise. I'm not even sure what that opportunity is. The Two of Wands also talks about the manifestation power, like what is it that I want to focus on to plant into the ether or whatever type of terminology you want to use to manifest. And you can't um, see the opportunity that you want to bring forward or have open pathways because we're stuck in this heavy energy. This needs to be moved first. We need to get back to focusing on these two cups that are full so that opportunity can open its door to you. Let's now look at the six of cups here in the center. Okay. <laughs> We have, I'm pretty sure that is temperance, but I'm gonna go check my book. tried to pause it there while I went to look, but apparently I pushed the wrong button, so here we are anyway. Art, Sagittarius, so yes, that would be uh, temperance. Why is this not doing what I needed to do? Okay. Um, temperance is finding balance right? Major life balance, major arcana. And 
I think the balance really comes between appreciating the past and being able to enjoy memories because memories are great. We don't just be like and wipe away everything because it might interfere with the present. No, we can reminisce. We can have joy and and nostalgia are, are nice things, but if we get caught up in them, then we throw ourselves out of balance because we are now and everything is now and the past is the past and it no longer exists. We just relive it through the idea of memory. So, um, yeah, basically the notion of finding balance between the happiness and joy that was experienced in the past, whether that was just being like younger days kind of thing, or if it was a different position that you used to be happy in, you're going to know what resonates with you in regards to that. It's finding a way to be able to appreciate that, but not let it weigh you down. Okay. Uh, so ultimately I think when it comes to uh, let's get some final advice, shall we? But when it comes to this reading, the message is more so about shifting something within yourself first to then be able to figure out more so where you should go, whether it's staying or going, because because this energy radiates in all pathways, none of these pathways really seem that promising. And that's because this will follow you wherever you go. So advice. <laughs> Seven of Wands. <laughs> all right. Figure out what it is you want. Light that torch. Find it. Hold it. Fight for it, go for it. Even if you think like, oh my God, that's gonna be so hard. Why are you suggesting this to me? My dreams and passions. How can I even make that be a thing? Um, yeah. I know you don't feel this right now for those that this reading is resonating with. Um, it's gonna be important to work on uh, the emotional care and rebuilding the strength and self-confidence and finding balance with your nostalgic tendencies and then focusing on what it is that really gets your juices flowing, okay? And that's going to open that ace of pentacles. That's where things will start to materialize. So group one, that is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. You can always, uh, you know, do the likes, shares, subscribes, all those things that really help out the channel. Uh, it's always very much appreciated because uh, it does make a difference in the algorithms. You can also always go over to Instagram if you're on that and check out more readings, occult related stuff, possibly astrology. And there's always my website, imaginationwitch.com. And uh, after these videos, as you know, there's gonna be a pop-up of other card reading opportunities that you might wanna check out. So please feel free. Thanks group one, we'll see you next time.